guys thanks for joining me already in progress as you can see um a couple of days back i was working on some pieces with some textured base coat and i don't it's hard to see um i really really like it i like the way it came out it's called suede um it's really quite pretty so we're gonna do another piece with the texture this is another piece that I did. You guys haven't seen this one yet. So it is mounted already on a wooden cradle panel. Pretty easy, guys. It's an 8x8 tile mounted on a 10x10 wooden cradle panel. I have copper foiled the edges. And just so you know, I mounted on the back side. This is generally the side that you and I would paint on. Um, I stain it. I add just a simple little D-ring style picture hanger with crazy glue. It's not going anywhere. I've had them on the walls for weeks. Um, they're pretty secure. And the tile itself is just glued on. So see that finish? That's the acrylic paint on top of basically a matte satin. So that's it, guys. That's what I do with my tiles. Pretty nice. So here we go on to painting so thank you everybody for reaching out and expressing your condolences you that watch what i do and watch me know that i had to put my senior cat down a couple of days ago and it was a hard decision it was hard to do it was a day filled with tears and we've all been there but i know it was the best thing to do in the long run all right here we go a little bit of raw sienna I'm kind of on earthy colors just because I am for no other reason. Sometimes I get tired of the bright pinks and greens and I don't know. I'm an earthy kind of girl to begin with. So anyway, that was mustard yellow, a little bit of raw sienna. sienna. This is harvest orange. Harvest orange it is. This is Art Mines. Actually, it's not. It's Deco Art Bronze. This is this new FX acrylic. Um, I bought a couple at, Mc at Michael's the other day. I really like them. They have a bit of a different texture and consistency. Um, you just have to keep sort of diluting them. This is the same stuff. They're all interference colors. They're almost all like the sh folk art, the ones that I bought, like the shift. Really pretty, really pretty colors. This is a shift paint. Actually, it's not. It's interference. It's jacquard interference. And I'm not even sure what color interference it is. It'll be a surprise when it dries. A little bit of fire here. Pop a few bubbles. And this is Deco Art White Satin Enamel. A little tiny bit there. Mixed with Amsterdam, of course. And you thought you were going to get away without me adding green. No, you're not. You're not going to. Okay, a little bit of black soul mix, guys. Here we go. My base coat might be a tiny bit thicker than I like. It's kind of moving weird already. But we'll work it out. I'm just gonna put a little more, a little more blue in here. Look at that brown. I'm gonna buy some more of these FX colors. They're quite nice. I I actually exercised some restraint, and I only bought I bought three, and then I thought I don't buy crazy, buy a bunch in case they don't work, but they do. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, we're going to give it a second. Let our center pop back up. Get rid of a few of these little nasty bubbles. I hope everybody had a good Halloween. I was going to paint last night, and I thought, oh, you know what? I better, I better not get too wrapped up in anything because I'm apt to have people knocking at the door and... I didn't know how it was going to go. I don't usually get a pile of kids, but I thought maybe this year I would get more because there was nothing going on in the community rec centers and things, but I got five, five kids. My first little boy was about 
maybe four and he was the incredible hulk and i opened the door and he flexed and growled at me with this big purr and i had dressed as a witch so i had my hat on and i said boo and i made him cry <laughs> I made the Incredible Hulk cry and then I felt terrible. Okay guys, let's do this. Let's modify this bloom. I like this petal and I like this one too actually, so I don't know what to do here. But let's try not to, not to wreck a whole bunch. I'm gonna try to modify this. A couple people have commented that I don't modify much anymore. And you're right, I don't. I'm modifying less and less all the time. And I'm sure it's just in my head, but sometimes the modifications just, I don't know, they feel childish and silly to me. Sometimes, not always. Just depends what kind of mood I'm in. Okay, here we go. Let's just move this about. It feels weird not to paint for a couple of days. I mean, I'm usually my kitchen table is just full of stuff and I cleaned up and I thought, oh, you know what? I'll clean it all up and clean off the floor. And then I thought, I don't know if I really want to drag it all back out again. But then it was like, like it's like a whole chapter of my life is missing to come out and actually see my kitchen table. I think it felt like someone stole my life. So I didn't last very long. I came home today and I thought, oh, that's it. I'm dragging it all back out again, you guys. Okay, big stretches here. Might just add a tiny bit of paint. Might even just kind of spread it around a bit. Ah, we'll take some off the table. I'm gonna going to let it run off anyway. Okay, so let's go all the way down. And we're just going to go off a tiny bit. That's enough. Stop, 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 you guys. I have to laugh at all your comments, people yelling at me to stop. Because sometimes I'm yelling at myself. I just try not to do it out loud so that I don't sound like a total whack job on the video. It's, uh, videotaping is weird when you guys can hear what my head is thinking. So I'm just like some crazy chicken throwing paint around in the kitchen. Look at this. This is super pretty. Okay, here we go. All the way down the other way. I'm going to go down and off. So my base paint, I guess I could have told you guys that prior to this. My base paint this time, I added a little bit of pouring medium again. Um, I found my last canvas piece I did. I had a little bit of cracking, which I've never had before. And I think it was because I've basically got my paints down to where there wasn't much binder in it when I'm mixing it with just flow troll and water and quite thin so that I could do the bigger pieces. So for these tiles, I've just added about a tablespoon just to give it a little bit of body, really. And it helps a little bit. All right, let's do this, you guys. Let's modify our bloom. We're not going to modify this section because it's super pretty. But let's do something somewhere. Just some little modifications. Doesn't need a lot. Just something to, just to change it a tiny bit. That and the fact that I said I was gonna modify it, so I, I am. Okay. 
remember you have two ends of your skewer guys this just makes unique little I, I've been calling it a chain just kind of pulls the paint together and apart and when it starts to settle a little bit then you'll see more of the effect that it creates and really you know what it just adds a little bit of visual interest that's all just little spots for your eyes to wander Make a few more in here. Contrasting lines work the best, obviously. See that little scallop? That's it, you guys. I might just leave this. I really like this. I wish I had this all over. Fun little textures. That's all we're doing. Just fun little textures. Ta-da! One modified bloom pour. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for listening to me. Babylon, thank you very much for reaching out to me about my, my poor kitty. And I definitely appreciate it, you guys. You know what? You always make me feel supported and loved, and I thank you. So there you go, guys. Up close, pretty little details. Easy peasy. So have fun, guys. Have fun with it. Modify. Just play with it. It's your piece. Design it the way you like. Okay, guys. Poor happy. Stay safe. We'll talk really soon. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.